Big Slick here with another repair video on these genius uh, computer speakers here. The problem is that they totally crap out whenever uh, the line voltage drops below a certain level. This was never an issue with them before and I'll try to show you the symptoms right now. Uh, my big HP laser printer tends to pull quite a load from the line whenever it first kicks on and the speakers uh, will basically completely distort and even completely go out whenever the uh, line voltage dips. So I'll go ahead and queue up a print page here. I'll put on some copyright free music. You can hear that playing. You can hear the speakers cut out and it has nothing to do with the computer. So we're going to bring this down onto the bench and take a look at it. I'm going to guess it's probably the main reservoir capacitor has failed again. It failed around three to four years ago. Okay, the problem turns out to be two bad capacitors. It wasn't the reservoir capacitor, but there are two capacitors in the voltage regulation circuit, which are exactly the symptoms that I'm having here. This one here is completely open. It was a 100 microfarad at 25 volts. And the one next to it, I have to double check the value here in a second, but it's testing very high ESR. But I suspect this one being completely open is the cause of the current failure. So I'm going to go ahead and replace these two capacitors. I'll let you know what the value of this other one is and uh, we'll check it then. The other capacitor is a 4.7 microfarad at 50 volts and both failed capacitors were a brand that I never heard of called uh, Q-Unlo, Q-U-N-L-O. This is testing the ESR on the 4.7 microfarad capacitor. It's testing 20 ohms, which is way too high. This probably should not be higher than about 4 at the most. And uh, this was the Q on low 4.750. And here is the ESR testing of the 100 microfarad capacitor. As you can see, it's completely open, no reading at all. And uh, this again is a Q on low 100 microfarad at 25 volts. Apparently, this brand was garbage. Okay, it's reassembled. Two new capacitors have been installed. And uh, we'll give this a shot and see where it's at. as you hear the speaker perform properly so the problem was those two capacitors.